What's up team, welcome to Weversode 51. Uh, we're going for a street ride on the trials bikes tonight. Here's my trials bike. Um, I did order a new front brake for it, but it hasn't shown up yet, which is unfortunate because brakes are like the most important thing on trials bikes. But yeah, I'm not gonna do a whole big thing about it. We'll just take you with and get some cool clips and you can see what trials is about. Particularly street trials, which is what we do, because traditional trials is a bit boring these days and mix it up, integrate it with a bit of BMX and whatever. And we're actually at Vic Park in Auckland. It looks like some of the uh, BMX kids are here. So let's go say hi to them. Skate parks are way fun, but um, we're gonna go for a street ride because street riding is more funner. It's different fun, it's adventure. It's adventure on bikes with spots in between, so let's go do that. Oh, so the night's winding down, good street ride, good fun, everyone sort of disappeared off into the darkness as they do and it's um, yeah, time for some food I think. Yeah Chen, do you want to get pizza? No. Do you want pizza? Yeah. Do something cool. Hey team, so that street ride was good fun. We didn't get into too much trouble or upset too many characters but it did let me know that I needed a new front brake which I ordered already and the reason that I wanted to upgrade the brakes on that trials bike is I got it off trade me second hand and it came with pretty standard brakes and on a trials bike brakes are really really important particularly the front brake because when you're doing maneuvers where you might launch and land on your front wheel and then raise the back up and roll out of it so that you can make a bigger gap you need good front brakes for that and the front brakes that I had were just not cutting it so I ordered some online I would have liked to have support local but they didn't have the one I wanted so oh well so here we are at BRM, they are putting it on and tuning it up, which is awesome. And um, how, we, how are we going? Uh, pretty good. It's almost done. Are you going to have a go on a trial spot? Uh, go on then. Can you manual these things? Yeah. No, can you manual these things? Oh, yeah. All the bolts tight? Um, sure. Such a steep head angle. It's a weird um, geometry to get used to. Oh, so cool. ah! Shinning yourself all the time. That's why I wear shin pads. <laughs> So that should be a uh, pretty awesome upgrade once it's uh, the, the front brakes bedded in. It takes a little while to bed in. But the next thing we're doing is going to be super, super exciting. Um, I've got a very exciting lunch with Ed and potentially something very awesome is going to come out of that. So let's go and have lunch with Ed. Ed Huckett. Um, so yeah, that was a mean feed. Um, Ed does like to take us to places to eat that are, um, what do you call it, uh, not necessarily over the top, but definitely we're never hungry around Ed. And the thing that's actually I've noticed lately, and it's not just Ed that does this, a lot of people that do it have associated me with when we go out to meet, it's generally around food, and it generally tends to be a cheap meal, and I'm not getting any slimmer. So 
I think next time we need to go like order the fries or something. We can go vegan. vegan. Full vegan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going vegan, but there are some good vegan meals out there. <clears throat> so the thing that we're doing right now is it basically, Ed and I got talking last time we were away, and it's like, hey look, we're doing all this driving as the Empire, we're doing all of these adventures and all these trips, why are we not doing it in a brand new Holden? And I couldn't have a good reason that that wasn't the case. And did we have the perfect vehicle for you? Well, exactly. Yeah, we've uh, arranged a long-term evaluation of a Holden Trailblazer LTZ. Perfect vehicle for those uh, weekend getaways. Yeah. That I know you're planning. Yeah, well, and that's the other thing. Because now that we've got this awesome vehicle that's going to be great for doing all these NZ road trips, we're just going to do a whole bunch of them. And then we've, there's already a lot already planned, actually. So, um, yeah. And this one, as I understand it, has already got a tow bar fitted for us. It's got the tow bar there, so yeah, if you've got any towing requirements from your jet ski to your um, power boat to your horse float, then I know you have. I have a horse float. See look, there's a dude in the wilderness with his camera, that's me. It's exactly like you, Nick. <laughs> so we're like kind of standing around thinking, okay, how do we explain this? And there's not really a lot to explain. Empire is going to be driving this car around for the foreseeable future and and it's going to be fun. So like high five Ed for the, for the mad hookups. No worries mate, just, but just yeah. get you in it. Oh actually, one thing we do need to do is come up with a name because all cool cars need a name. I'm thinking something strong and something north. Any suggestions Ed? Uh, we'll get something like Harold. Oh, Harold. Harold Bluetooth. Harold. If you guys like the name Harold, comment below. If you got different ideas, comment below. But yeah, big shiny black truck. Hey team, so uh, yeah, this is the truck. It's uh, it's pretty awesome to be at a position now where like only after two years of doing Empire that we're getting like this kind of recognition and support from companies and stuff. So it's very humbling and very exciting. And uh, yeah, good times ahead. But yeah. Um, Justin's here and Justin's bike's here because we are at Murawai because apparently there are jumps and stuff in here so we're going to go and find those so I'll stick you on the GoPro and we'll go find some jumps and stuff but the truck's going well he's a beast we need to come up with a good name so far it's got Harold because Harold is actually a Norse name it is, is it? Harold Bluetooth who was a warrior I don't know I, I thought someone was coming from Remuera with the kids for a, you know a day at the beach you can't sit with us <laughs> And then... Alright, you're on Justin's chesty cam because it's my first run and he's going to hit the jumps and I'm not, so... Well, it's not that I'm not going to do it, I'm going to do it, I just don't know them, is all. So, you can just go mental and I'll see Yeah, mental and die. <laughs> Should we ride our bicycles? Bicycles. I love your helmet. That, seriously, that helmet and those spy goggles are seriously, like... Seriously, you're like Maverick out of Top Gun. Look at you. Seriously. I can't see, I can't see myself. I know, but you look good. You know you look good anyway. Woo! Well, I guess we'll just round out the video here then. Um, I kind of got a bit carried away with riding and less uh, focused on making a film for years, but you know, it kind of been happening a bit that way, which is I think actually kind of good. Sometimes I just need to focus on actually living life and not trying to capture everything. But well, you know, we do like to share stuff with you. I think the webisodes are going to get pretty damn awesome at the moment. You know, between between the new truck that we're going to be taking all over the country and some new ideas and some new directions and stuff like that, and we've got some new content coming up as well. So I think yeah, it's a very exciting time for us. So thank you very much for all the support on the videos and the website and the blogs and the articles and stuff like that. It does mean the world to us because we do it for you guys uh, but yeah no um, if you enjoy these as usual you know hit that thumbs up button and uh, let us know that you like what we're doing and um, yeah if you haven't already hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel go check out the website stuff like that and uh, yeah we shall see you again very soon